What's Christmas? What's Christmas about? Christmas is everything to everybody now. It's about remembering stuff, having fun times with your family, playing games, getting new gifts every year, getting free stuff. I mean, of course, parents have to pay for it. But Christmas isn't all about paying, giving, receiving. It's about remembering good times, friends, family, hanging out with people, watching movies, old Christmas movies, reading books, getting off from school, getting a little relaxing time. And of course, snow. Depends on where you live. But, I was thinking about making a video. Uh, Christmas video. Wasn't sure what to do. It'd be my first Christmas video. My first Christmas special. I mean, thinking about stuff I could just sit around, talk about nothing. But then I, what can we talk about? I mean, I can remember some games, some crazy games, some fun games. The games I've overdone. Some games I've done throughout the year. And, yeah. Hmm. Thinking about it, I remember this one game. Actually, I remember two of these games I really like. Hmm. I remember this one game called Super Meat Boy, and I was having a really hard time playing it. And I kept failing and failing and failing, and I don't know what to do. Sometimes I just run off stuff, and I won't even know how to get to it. Like, just, you know, run into enemies I didn't even know about. Sometimes I would just, you know, do stupid stuff and just actually start playing the game when you're not supposed to. And I just epically fail in the end anyway. And sometimes I actually did good. Sometimes I made it pretty far. Sometimes I wouldn't have a clue what I'm doing. And I'd go all the way back to the bottom and all, all that good stuff. Sometimes I would, you know, do something right and... Nothing right ever happens back. Sometimes I'll just jump around, mess around. <laughs> Everything I say kind of sounds like Christmas, where we mess around with our family, have some food, eat some figgy pudding. I don't even know what figgy pudding is exactly. Never had figgy pudding actually. So crazy part is Christmas is about is about a lot of stuff we don't ever know about, like figgy pudding. I mean, it's in a song, right? But we don't know what's it about, so I can't really explain much on that. But yeah, and sometimes we think of stuff that can never be thought of, of like how Super Meat Boy got to become with, and why is there a Meat Boy running around? Some of those answers can be solved by directors or the game creators, which do earn an honest living off of making video games. And Santa's very proud of them for making those video games so he doesn't have to. And when boys and girls write down, I want to get Mama with her three for Christmas, Santa doesn't have to go all the way down to Activision, use their software, and make Mama with her three himself, having no clue what the game is about. Just so he can fulfill some little boy slash girl's imagination up. And that's not true for all, you know, religions. I mean, there's also Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, which really, I can, I don't know too much about, so I couldn't really tell you what's it about. But ask anybody Jewish or African American, they'll tell you a lot about Kwanzaa. I'm not the expert here. I'm just a guy nice enough to say, hey, there's a holiday out there called Kwanzaa, and we shouldn't be filling up our heads with this Christmas stuff. I'm just one of those right people that say, hey, there's other holidays out there. We should respect them too and maybe have some fun with it. Because I know I want my Jewish cake. Or whatever it's called. Like a, I forgot what it was called. And hey, I don't even celebrate Christmas. I'm Indian. I don't celebrate Christmas. But that sucks. A lot of people don't and do celebrate Christmas. There's nothing wrong with that. But hey, when you d if you do celebrate Christmas or you don't celebrate Christmas, it doesn't matter. If you're having fun time playing 
video games or hanging out with your family or remembering good times with your friends and roommates or whatever you hang out with or who you hang out with it doesn't really matter sometimes Christmas isn't about like <clears throat> celebrating times with friends and families sometimes it's about just playing video games just because you can <laughs> Sometimes it's about getting owned by Cthulhu, or the skeleton monster, which I'm about to get owned by. Sometimes it's just dying for the heck of it, like when you say you were slain. Sometimes it's just getting your innards torn apart by a giant skeleton named whatever. Christmas can be about a lot of stuff, and when you're having fun and you're enjoying yourself, Christmas can be about this. And the only sad part about Christmas is can be killed by the giant guardian. When you don't really want to be killed by the giant guardian, Christmas can be a cheerful things. It can be teleporting back with a magic mirror, using your lightsaber to. Hit bronze in here. What's the hagrid? It could be about using your ball of hurt on just anything. What I'm trying to say is, let's all have a fun Christmas this year. Let's all think about all the stuff we could think about that can be done or that happens during Christmas. Anything that can ever happen in Christmas time that's really fun, like hitting this torch that doesn't ever come off unless you use a hammer. Anyway, let's go back to the fireplace. Well, not thinking about it, Christmas can be about a lot of stuff, and those games were really good, and I played them a lot, and I played them forever, and I never really thought about Christmas until now. And so, Christmas can be about a lot of things, and we should remember Christmas for a very long time. And even if you don't celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, remember those holidays, and remember what they are for. They establish something that we have every year. They establish the gift thanks. Not Thanksgiving, but we give thanks throughout the year. We give thanks for everything we've had. We give thanks for everything that has ever happened. When we help people and we give them things that they've never had. And Chris is about the time to celebrate rejoicing with others and remembering everything that's ever happened. And that's why I want, to, I want you guys to have a happy holiday and a happy new year. And come for many, many Christmases many many Hanukkahs and many many Kwanzaa's to come as new as yours was this year and come twice as better. See you guys.